YouTube. What's the righteous word? It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I be for the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. Remember that. And we back with another video. So this is exactly what I didn't want y'all. I'ma just keep it real. Um, y'all saw the content prior to this right here, and this is not what we wanted. We didn't want another brick baby crash out. That's like two in a row, two in two in the same week. You know what I'm saying? Again, Adam set brick up. If this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, please, and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to there. Also, smash that Discord link. A lot of good people in that Discord, man. We doing it up over there. Talented people. Positive vibes. Ain't no snitches. Ain't no gang drugs. Ain't no setups. Believe it. Now, we're about to get into brick baby's response to everything that went on yesterday now you guys seen the video that i did um on dw going back to no jumper for an interview which was surprising to me i'll be honest i don't know why you wanted to go back up there but come to find out everything was a play they explained how they play uh how they plotted out the um the live that DW Flame did where he was speaking on, oh yeah, uh, niggas got shot and you gotta play pray for niggas at no jumper. Him and Adam was in cahoots on that. I was unaware, but they were in cahoots on that. Again, keep telling you these guys are running some kind of circus. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's them guys? Uh, the magician guys. You feel me? They running the whole little uh magician play, bro. Y'all are finessing everybody in front of their eyes, but y'all getting the clicks and views that y'all want at the expense of people like Brick who got a lot going on in their real life. Now, we're going to get into these comments from the Brick. Hey, check it out. Check it out. I'm going to say this once and for all. I'm going to say it one more time. And I now, now, Adam, on 6 so when you wake up in the morning, call me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm dropping the footage tomorrow, though, cuz we... You should have dropped it right in this moment, and Adam isn't calling you, bud. He's not. Don't let the world decide that a nigga ever asked me anything about insane why he choked me. Now, I'm looking at the CEO podcast page. They talk about they confirmed that Brick got choked. Nigga, I ain't never left my feet. And once again, that niggas never put their hands around my throat in my life, nigga. That's the type of shit that get nigga really... Uh, on the dead homies and it was a time nigga and to be honest with you this is what i was trying to explain to y'all yesterday all this stuff is the kind of stuff that could get people uh literally but they continue to play these coonery and buffoonery um shows up here i'm just not with none of it and again this is at the expense of brick i knew that this was gonna happen i knew that this was gonna happen y'all pay attention on the dead homies nigga you pushed my cell phone down my pants after i put it up for you and i whipped it back out told your brother here nigga grab it before i do something to somebody in here nigga let's keep it real cuz all the nice shit all that over fabricating because you buff and tough and all that man on the dead homies go slang some dick somewhere else nigga golly and p nice i mean i never did no uh content i never cut no content on that but what's up p nice since when are we trying to get down with the pink man and what he got going on? I'm saying, since when did you want to be plugged with the talk? Golly, bro. I heard you had a trucking business. When everybody was canceled Christmas edition, after Adam did what he did, y'all came up there and talked about how y'all got other businesses, y'all be doing podcasts, this, that, and the other. I heard you got a trucking business. But now you want to lay pipe? Golly. And with Adam... 16? Come on, dog. Where is that okay? Where is that okay? Just show the man and DW as close as we is, cuz, as homies, cuz, you let your brother lie and say you 100% heard him say that. On the dead homies, nigga, my homie bigger than both of y'all, nigga. If he ever was around me and see me get choked by some nigga, first of all, from neighborhood, cuz, we would have did whatever it was gonna do. First and foremost, cuz it ain't no more peace because that on hood. I keep getting on the phone with niggas in there. They, oh, 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 Then when I tell you I'm finna drop the footage, it's, no, 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 don't drop the footage, cuz. But then I go on the nigga page and y'all posting that shit, cuz. Look, as close as we is, cuz, 
You let Cub fabricate and lie in front of you. Ain't a nigga never pick oh. me up off. And that's another thing. You're talking about as close as you guys are. This was my issue from the beginning. Brick, you make everybody your partner in them. Everybody is your brother. Close as what? I've never seen you with DW before the No Jumper podcast. I've never seen you with DW, doggy. But you're so close to him. Mind you, you're also talking about him and his brother, his actual brother. You get what I'm saying? Brick, you're too friendly with these niggas, man. And you the one who really got the juice. I'm going to be honest. Nobody's really checking for any of these guys, dog. But you, you're a hot keyword search. Just going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And when you do stuff like this, you lend your light to these people. When in actuality, all they trying to do is burn you out. I'm going to be real. I thought that DW was on some friendship stuff. And I believe that he was in the beginning. But as things started to play out, he's just like, yo, this dude ain't what I thought he was. And he started operating just like that. My feet. A nigga ain't never put his hands around my throat. And a nigga ain't never disarmed the nigga, cuz. And I'm standing on that nigga. On the dead homies, whatever it is. Niggas thinking that size matter and all that shit, cuz. On the dead homies, nigga. I don't give a fuck about none of that. And it just is what it is. That shit behind me, cuz on the hood, a nigga pressed his knuckles into my neck. On West Side, nigga, on hood, you niggas probably lifted three or four plates, cuz a nigga, you know I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> this nigga brick, know them niggas are buff. This nigga said, you niggas lifting three or four plates, cuz I don't give a fuck about that, cuz. You know what the vibes is, cuz. Six up. Cuz on the dead homies, nigga. On hood, really. Come on, cuz, like, nigga, y'all supposed to be a nigga homeboy, but on hood, cuz, we gonna leave it right there, nigga, on hood. Nigga tired of getting on phones with niggas and niggas playing both sides and running the whack, talking to a snitch about gang bang business gang on the dead homies. We just gonna sit that there, there, cuz I was just on the phone with cuz during, during the podcast. If niggas was feeling any certain type of way, we've been around. And then, this is one thing that make niggas look dope, look. If you... Nigga got that close to me and asked me what I said about the hood. Why you didn't get off? Why you didn't get off? Why you got to say, what was you second guessing? Why you didn't get off, nigga? And I'm not taking it back or answering no phone calls. Nigga on the dead homies. So that's Briggs' response again. This is not what I wanted. And I can see how this can turn left. It's already turned left. It's already turned left. And again, go back and watch that DW Flame video that I dropped yesterday, y'all, because I'm talking in that video. Do you understand me? I'm letting you guys know exactly what inevitably happened the next day, dog. I told y'all all this was going to happen as a result of Adam 22 being messy. Bro, you DW is not even hired and no jumper anymore. Brick is a current employee, yet you let people speak on Brick, you make Brick content, and then you do a whole ass podcast with DW where it's just like you're just unearthing all kind of stuff that we did not know about. Adam sitting there giggling <laughs> with his teeth and his kiwi head because he enjoys this and he knows what it's going to do. I haven't even looked at the No Jumper page today, but I guarantee you that there are wild clips from the DW interview. Shame on DW too, I'm gonna tell you like this, I feel a way about DW as well. I was the only nigga cutting CEO podcast clips. Niggas never reached out and showed me any love. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Niggas, they had to do that, I was just fucking around. But this is the thing though. I was the only person cutting CEO podcast clips. Boss Massa Man, Adam22, wasn't showing you no love. But when you crashed out, he clipped that up. Right. I guarantee you guys, if I go to the no jumper page right now, that all that shit that he was talking about, brick is clipped up into different segments and edited so that they can monetize it. Come on, y'all. You got to open your eyes at this point. Like I said, I don't know what DW on, but you said you made a play with Adam to do all the stuff about Dijon and the shooting and all that. So who knows what these guys are about in real life? I'm going to just tell you because I don't know any hood niggas. I don't know any real niggas who do this kind of stuff, dog. Straight up. And I'm going to tell you like this. Brick was absolutely right 
in saying, hey, I was just on the call with you. Go back to my DW video, y'all. He called him during the interview. I showed you guys how DW was visibly upset or angry. He wasn't mad. He wasn't fucking with Brick. But this is my thing. You, all right, I'm going to hit you, bro. You hung up that FaceTime like if it's Joe. Meanwhile, Brick, he be on gang drugs. Maybe he thinks everything's cool. Maybe Brick thinks everything's cool, but why don't you, DW, why don't you make it abundantly clear that it's not? Instead, you play that role right there. You answer, yeah, yeah, Brick, tell him that this, to tell him that that, right? And then after, you start speaking on him. When you could have told bro all that stuff to his face on the FaceTime in front of all the viewers, because, hey, that would have been clipped up. That would have been a moment. But no, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to wait till he got off the phone to kick his back in with friends like that. Golly. If this is your first time to the channel, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Please and thank you. We need that for the algorithm. If you could go to the top of the page, smash that Instagram link. Follow me on Instagram. Shoot me any content y'all want me to react to in the DMs. Shout out to my cousin, Drea. All right. Drea is a uh, marketing manager and uh, a million other things. You know what I'm saying? She's starting up her business, trying to get everybody's YouTube popping. So if there are any content creators out there who want to get their um, YouTube popping, their Instagram popping, their TikTok, any of that, hit me in my DMs and I will plug you with Drea because she is very good at what she's she does. She's um, got, got a lot of different things done for me. For a few other people, I don't really care to name them because I don't know if they want to be named, but... She does her job and she does it well. So if you guys are looking to grow a platform, grow your social media, any of that, hit me in the DMs. Y'all can also hop in my Discord. Get at me there. Dre is also in my Discord. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all want to get at her there, but hit me in the DMs. Let me know what you're trying to do and I'll plug you with Dre and she will get y'all stuff popping for you. Again, comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this. I think that Adam is the pink devil i think adam is the pink devil and i think that he brainwashes the people around him into thinking certain things so where they're moving like him as well i didn't expect any of that from dw i'll be honest with you shame on that whole podcast and then he sex played niggas at the end two niggas oh, i'm not with all that i'm not with all that then you get sex played he talking about your brother's meat golly it's your boy gangland name peace